Hi, it's Mark Bossert here, producer of the Pollock Automotive Podcast. We're here with Mr. Bernie Pollock, and we're talking cars, or in this case, fuel. How are you doing, Bernie? Doing very well. So, on this fine Vancouver morning where we're looking at fuel prices at over $1.50 a liter, for those in America, that's, what is that, we're six bucks a gallon, yee-haw! Uh, should I use premium fuel? Very good question. Uh, I'm going to put one simple answer. The one simple answer is if your car requires it, then use it. Otherwise, you've got a lot of options. So what's the difference between premium and regular or even mid-grade fuel? So the main difference between the, the fuels is, is, the, uh, is the octane in the fuel. And the purpose of the octane is to reduce engine knock. And uh, engine knock, if you're not familiar with it, if you're if you've ever been in a vehicle with a knocking engine, you basically, when you accelerate, there's this knocking kind of rattling sound that occurs inside your engine. It's very serious. Uh, if it just does it a tiny bit, not a big deal, but it, it can, if it's severe, it can actually crack the pistons in the engine, which is extremely expensive. It, you know, it'll destroy the engine. So having, preventing knocking is, is critical. Uh, there's a lot of things vehicle engines do to prevent knocking besides the fuel, but uh, the premium, the, Again, the primary reason to use premium is, is for anti-knock. And what could happen, I guess, you've already talked about it really, what could happen, what else, could, any other issues that could happen if I use premium or don't use premium when I should be using it? Yeah, the, the really, the, the really the main issue is, is the engine knocking and the, you know, like basically it'll, it'll, it can break the pistons, you know, if, if it's severe enough. So that's, that's really the only thing that, that's critical about using premium fuel. Yeah, so basically it's going to wear your engine out a lot sooner because it's knocking. You might not notice it all that much other than the weird sound, but your, your vehicle isn't going to last as long. Exactly. Precisely. That's exactly right. The good news is you can hear it. So you'll hear if you're actually doing the wrong thing, which is great. And maybe we just, just define what engine knocking is. What define it? What, yeah. what, what, well, what it actually is physically is that when well, the way an engine works is that there's a compression stroke and, and the piston the piston moves up. It's got uh, it's got fuel and air in the mixture. It compresses it and 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 when it's at the right optimum time, the spark plug is supposed to fire that, explode the mixture, and the piston flies down. That's what gives you power in a gas in a internal combustion engine. An engine knock is what ha what ha what occurs is that as the fuel is being compressed, the actual fuel will explode before the before the uh, spark plug fires. And so what'll happen is it'll explode, then the spark plug fires, there'll be two flame fronts and knocks everything around in the engine in, in a way that's not supposed to. And interestingly enough, as, as I'm saying this, if you notice a diesel engine makes a loud knock and rattle, well, that's, that's what a diesel, it's a, com it's a compression combustion engine. That's why a diesel engine it makes a loud, makes such loud noises. And so you don't want your gasoline engine to ever sound like a diesel. That's kind of, if it sounds like a diesel, you've, you've got a severe knock and pinging problem. And that's causing a lot of stress on the bearings and the crankshaft and all sorts of things, valves, oh, etc. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Severe stresses inside the engine. So don't some people use premium fuel just because it's they think it's better for their car? Yeah. So there's a lot of people and I, I think there's probably less nowadays with the high price of fuel. But, you know, in, in the past, there's people who think, hey, I want to do something good for my car. And maybe these are more the car enthusiast type people, but I want to do something good for my car. I'm going to put the best grade of gas in. So there's really no advantage to doing that. I mean, the, the only real difference is, is, is the octane compound. There was a time when I think premium, they used some better fuel, like cleaners and stuff in the fuel. Um, but Nowadays, like if you, if you go to like a name brand gas station, you buy their regular, it has the same level of detergents and cleaners in it as, as the premium. It, the only difference is the octane. So there's really no, you're really not doing your car any sort of favor by, uh, by going up to premium. How would I, again, we've, uh, we sort of covered maybe some of these questions. So using premium in my car that's not designed for premium, doesn't need premium is no benefit. Not really. Um, I will say that there was a recent study, and you can look at find on the, on the uh, internet. It's uh, by uh, American Auto Association. They did a very thorough study. They took uh, several vehicles, and they they did some extremely uh, rigorous testing of using premium and regular fuel to see what the differences were. And there there were some some vehicles benefited. They, there was a bit of an improvement in gas mileage. Some had uh, a little bit of a power improvement. Some lost power. Um, but mostly, I mean, for the most part, there was a slight benefit with premium, but when you add the cost 
uh, which is actually substantially higher in Canada than it is in the U.S., the differential, price differential. It really, uh, when I looked at it, I go, it, it isn't worth it unless the vehicle requires it. And I guess I should say, what vehicles require premium? Well, if you, I'll just show you, uh, just do a quick picture here. This, you know, this is a, a German car uh, performance vehicle. You pop the gas cap, it says premium fuel only. This is, these are the kind of things where you really, you don't want to be using regular. Any vehicle that has like a supercharged engine, uh, definitely, you definitely want to be using premium. Just the way these engines it just deliver so much power, so much speed. I mean, and one knock and could, could blow everything up. So you really don't want to compromise anything in that area. Same with a lot of turbocharged engines, but a lot of, a lot of engines are tuned to use either one, so it's really important to know what the manufacturer recommends and uh, and go from there. Is there any other things? Is it just engine speed or um, increased pressure from either a turbo or supercharger? Is th are those the main reasons why you need to have a premium fuel? Exactly. I mean, it's just with an engine that that fills the cylinder with, this, with a supercharger or turbocharger, you're basically filling the cylinders with a pressurized air, and so it just creates a much more explosive, uh, for lack of easier word, a much more explosive mixture, and that's what gives it so much extra power and efficiency as well. Um, so yeah, that's where you need more octane to prevent that because again, the, temp the, the temperatures inside the cylinder get higher, and that's where it can create the knock, uh, the, the pre-combustion issue. Sure, so we've covered a lot of ground. Can you kind of summarize everything here? Yeah, so I, I'd summarize. If the vehicle absolutely requires premium, if you have a really high performance vehicle, use premium fuel. Otherwise, what I would recommend you do is see what the manual, see what the owner's manual recommends, uh, and then you can try if if it says you know recommended premium fuel because a lot of vehicles say recommended but it's not required. Try uh, try using mid grade or regular. Uh, so here's how here's how you do it. You basically you put your you put in a tank of regular, you drive the vehicle, make sure that you don't hear any knocking and pinging sound, like a, your engine doesn't sound like a, a diesel engine when you accelerate. Um, if you don't hear that and the performance feels good otherwise, just go with regular, it's fine. If you hear a bit of a knock and ping, go up to mid-grade, try that, see how that works. If you still hear a rattle, then, then go with, you know, then, you, then you'll need to stay with premium. But that's an experiment you can do. And uh, as I say, uh, it's good to buy gas at a place. There's a, a, gr a rating of gas called top tier, and you'll find it at a lot of service stations that, you know, again, better name brand stations. There are certain additives and detergents that, are, that help clean your combustion chambers and fuel injectors, and these are recommended by a lot of the major manufacturers as being the best fuel. So use a top tier fuel of any sort, and then just use whatever you can, I'd say, get away with. That'll be your most economical way to drive. So there you go. If you're looking for service, maintenance, or you've got a problem with your vehicle in Vancouver, the guys to see are Pollock Automotive, you can reach them at 604-327-7112 to book your appointment. Book ahead, they're busy, or check out their website, pollockautomotive.com. We also have a YouTube channel, Pollock Auto Repair, where there's hundreds of videos on there, and our new podcast. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark. Oh, 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 oh,